Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And merry active of Christmas. We are still in Christmas weeks, still celebrating the nativity of our Savior, our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. However, as if to remind us of, of the world he entered, and of course the, the light and the grace that he brought into our lives, just the celebrations of this week. Uh, yesterday we celebrated uh, the first martyr, St. Stephen. Uh, imagine that, somebody killed because of his belief, his faith in Jesus Christ. And today we celebrate uh, St. John, St. John the Apostle and Evangelist. And I like the choice of uh, the Gospel for today. Uh, we, we hear from the Gospel of John that uh, towards uh, after the resurrection, when Mary Magdalene goes and tells the disciple whom Jesus loved and, and, and St. Peter, of course, we've come to believe that the disciple or the, the other disciple or the disciple whom Jesus loved happens to be apparently the author of the, the, the evangelist, John. So Mary Magdalene tells them about the empty tomb, that the Lord has been taken away. And then, of course, we hear that great race to the tomb. They both arrive, and of course, St. John, or the disciple whom, whom Jesus loved, or the other disciple, goes in. He sees and believes. Yes, that is the, the faith that they had found, the light that led them to such faith, and of course the grace of the Lord who lived in this world, whom they saw and touched and related to, and he led them to such faith. So right here, as we celebrate Christmas, I find, I find it rather ironic that behind me, we are here by our, uh, our manger scene, and we see the baby in the crib. But yet the gospel we hear today on this feast of St. John, the apostle and evangelist, takes us to the tomb, the empty tomb. Isn't that interesting? Yes, kind of both, I, should I use the word weird, you know, that Jesus was born in, in such a, a, a terrible, uh, you know, unusual place, you know, being born in a place where animals were feeding, you know, and then we end up at the tomb, you know, which that's not unusual, but yes, that's not a place that anyone wants to be alive, but yes. So from the crib, from here, the manger scene, we travel, the gospel takes us to the tomb. But isn't that our journey through life? Think about it. We all were born, we, we lay in some crib, somewhere, and eventually, whether you like it or not, you will lie in some tomb, unless you are cremated. Just kidding. Now, on the, <laughs> the, the, that's the story we live. But in between is the life that promises that we too will come out of our tombs and rise and go experience the resurrection. He, in, in, amazing that our God, our Lord and God too, had to carry that cross, suffer for us, die, and be raised from the dead by God the Father. Yes, there is that life that we live now, and I, th I believe it is this life now that determines how, what happens once we enter that tomb, what happens at the end. But we are blessed with the light that he brought, the grace that appeared in this world, and we thank God for for the Lord who came into our world. We continue to celebrate this season, this feast of the nativity of the Lord. And it began that journey that he walked through life, the journey that brought him to death, and indeed, the, finally, the cross and resurrection. And so, let us continue to celebrate aware that right, right now we have the opportunity to embrace and be embraced by this God. His light is with us to guide us, to light our way, and also His grace fills us and strengthens us. And as we look forward to next year, may this God continue to walk with us. And thinking of next year, coming up here on, uh, on Sunday, that is the last day of this year, uh, I, I invite you, we will have adoration from 11 o'clock, and of course, benediction, the special blessing of the Lord, at midnight. 
What a way to begin a new year. So if you have, you think of it, think about that. This, this on the 31st uh, Sunday evening at 11 o'clock in the evening, we'll have adoration and we'll close with benediction at midnight. But meanwhile, my brothers and sisters, love because you are loved. Amen.